here we are with a disassembled Power Mac G5 power supply. You saw all the work that had to go into it on the time lapse, which involved removing the fans, the drives, the components, the bottom four uh, memory slots, the two massive processors. They're just a little bit tiny. They have a very small connector, but dang, they're they're pretty bad badass. They're big. So and those heat sinks let you know that they mean business in the heat department. Luckily, I didn't have to pull the entire motherboard out, but Apple, while they do a great job with engineering their stuff, and it's built really well, well, it used to be, it's not really meant for repair. So I am not going to uh, use the canned air right here because I'll just, I'll give myself Ebola or something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out to the garage, hit it with the high pressure compressed air off the air compressor, give her a good blowout, and then we'll take it apart and see what we get. All right. One, two, fuses are good. Yippee, 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 skippy. Ground is good. Well, that nips that in the butt. We should hear a click if this works. Bingo. Yeah, no, let's press a button. It's a good sound. USB just came online. Let's just let it sit for a second. Bingo. It's getting Wi Fi. Wi Fi is online. I should be able to click SMB mounter and double click on my disk and just say assign I gotta assign this to C I'll just assign it to C assign and there's my there's my Amiga network cool this will run for 45 minutes without a license key directory opus 4 runs fine real quick I almost forgot is that the monitor um, I put the original hard drive back in this is my Mac 10.5.8 server and this ran for years right back behind us i'm gonna turn it on and see what i get just to make sure things are cool we should actually get my mac server so here's my morph os ssd 160 gig intel put that right there look at all this dust holy crap that's all from the server i might actually have to wipe this desk down with something Yep. Yep, here's my Mac server. Should auto log in. Yeah. So this is the Power Mac G5 2 1.8s. 6 gigs of RAM, 120 gig hard drive, unlimited client license, 1058. Okay. I can click on XServe 2, which is my uh, XServe over there with the XServe RAID. 2 3 gigahertz, 32 gigs, 8 terabytes, unlimited 10.8, 1068. It's Snow Leopard, 111 days online. So I can see still both servers, even from just firing this old one up. Kind of neat. This is what the Amiga should have been. 2 gig arbitrary loop, 2 gig arbitrary loops, that's 4 gig fiber. Well, 2 gig per side. And it runs into a fiber switch. You can see my old videos. It's all still the same. It's been running for like 10 years. It's nice to know that this Mac still works the way it did. Power supply's fixed. We've got Wi-Fi. we got 
let's do a bigger resolution let's do 1920 by 1200 that's some resolution yep anyway that's all i got it's nice to see that my original mac server still works the power supply is fine but sometimes you just need a good slap uh and a good blow. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.